Hi, welcome to my video on rational functions, extra problem number two. So I've made up another problem very similar to one we just had, but yet a little bit different. Graph f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 8 divided by x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 8. And let's write the equation as y equals... And this time I'm going to take a shortcut. Rather than write this down again, I'm going to factor this one. So this is x squared minus 2x minus 8. So that's, let's see if we can factor. So x squared is x and x. The product is 8. The sum is negative 2, negative 8. So the factors of 8 are 1 and 8, 2 and 4. So it looks like it's going to be a 4 and a 2 to give me the 2. Product is negative, so it has to be a plus and a minus. Because the sum is negative 2, it has to be negative 4 plus 2. Now, we have to factor the denominator. So let's go right here and pick up the um, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 8. And this is a cubic, and a cubic has, at, because it's a cubic, it has at least one real root or three real roots because it goes in uh, multiples of two. So it has one real root. So what root? Uh, um, the possible roots are the possible roots. Repeat this, right? Possible roots. The possible roots that we're going to have are plus minus all the factors of 8 divided by 1. So the factors of 8 are 1 and 8, 2 and 4. So there's 1 and 8, 2 and 4, all plus minus, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8. So if I look at the root that I look for, or a factor I look for, is when the sum adds up to 0. So 1 plus 8 is 9, negative 3 and negative 6 is a negative 9. So the sum of these coefficients is uh, 0. So that means it's possible that 1 is a root. So I'm going to take 1 and divide into this by synthetic division. So I got 3, 2, 1, 0. So they're all there. Just, just make sure it got to be in descending order. And they're all there. So I'll line. Bring down to 1. 1 times 1 is 1, add, I get a negative 2. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, add, I get a negative 8. 1 times negative 8 is negative 8, add, I get a 0. So now I have, this is my remainder here. Since my remainder is 0, 1 is a root. That means that x plus 1 is a factor. So x, sorry, 1 is a root, x minus 1 is a factor. That means, if we look at this one, the depressed equation part that's left here is depressed polynomial is x squared minus 2x minus 8. And that's the same as this. So that means that if I factor this, which is the same as on the top, x minus 4, x plus 2, I have all the factoring done. And notice that x minus 4 is common x plus 2 is common, they cancel out, so I get y equals 1 over x minus 1. So, that means that I have a vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote is that x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals 1. So there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. There it is, right? down to there, x equals 1. So that means the graph cannot go through this. And the horizontal asymptote is, that's a 0 there. So as x goes to infinity, x minus 1 is going to infinity. So 1 over infinity is approaching 0. So that means y is approaching 0. So y equals 0 is my horizontal asymptote. So I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, which is right here. So, 
let's see what else we have here now we have let's look at the y intercepts just for a bit of fun y intercepts are x equals zero in this equation so y equals one over zero minus one so that's one over negative one negative one so when x is zero y is negative one when x is zero here y is negative one so it has a y intercept right there so that means the graph has to go towards like go like that going this way or like this but it's going this way because as as x goes to inf negative infinity the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero so the graph has to be going like this and on this side well let's see let's do the x-intercept first the x-intercept is when you let y equals zero so take this equation that y equals zero you get zero equals one over x minus one so put it over one across zero times x minus one is zero one times one is one so zero cannot equal one so there's no x intercepts so this graph does not cut through the x-axis which also indicates that it's horizontal the y equals zero is the horizontal asymptote okay let's look at now what about if we look at another point let's take we know it's here what about on this side is it down here or up here so let's take we did y equals one so let's look at when x is one sorry x is one is the vertical asymptote let's look at where x is two x is two into this equation here so y equals we're putting two right here one over two minus one so that's one over one which is one so when x is two right here when x is two y is one so that's the point two one x is two y is one so there it is so that means it goes towards the vertical asymptote as x goes to infinity y approaches zero so it's coming down through here but because that's before i draw these let's put in my uh the holes so there's two holes in this one two holes one is where we have x minus four equals zero and the other holes where we have x plus two equals zero so there's a hole at x is equal to four and there's a hole at x equals negative two so the equation is y equals one over so we're going to put a four here so four minus one is one third so there's a hole at four comma one third four comma one third so one two three four four comma one third is let's say estimate to be there so there's the hole right there and let's get the other hole so y equals we have a negative two so it's one over again we're putting a negative two in this equation right here so we get a negative two minus one so that's uh one over negative three which is a negative one third so we have a hole at x is negative two negative one third negative two negative one third x is negative two y is negative one third right here so there's the hole right there so the graph as x goes to infinity y goes to zero and so it would come in it goes up towards this asymptote and we get closer and closer to one on the right side it goes to infinity comes over goes down through remember now there's a hole right here so there it is so there's the hole at that hole there is four comma one third and also here it's going towards the asymptote so there it is going down there like this there's the y-intercept and it goes here it don't pass through this point because there's a hole there it is so this hole here 
is negative 2, negative 1 third. So there's a graph just like before with a vertical asymptote. It tapers towards the vertical asymptote, never cuts through. And as x goes to infinity, y goes to 0. As x goes to negative infinity, y goes to 0. And that's the graph that represents this. And again, I made this cubic up different that you had to use the possible roots of this cubic and I made it up to be a one so it'd be easier to see. And that brings us to the end of this video. And again, if you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, visit my math website www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. The content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained, just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.